Hello friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today we're unpacking new TV. That is interesting situation here because many people going larger. For the first time we actually gone smaller. We had 55 inch Sony TV that Sony let us down a couple of times and we decided to go alternative brands and this is new one, it's Hisense model 50S8, got released literally a couple of months ago, new in Australia, I'm not sure about around the world, and quite overwhelmingly positive feedback on the internet. So I'll create two parts of this video, one I have no idea what's inside the box besides TV itself, and open it for the first time and see what's inside the box. And second video, I try to um, picture everything to do with the setup of TV. So let's go and open the box. Before we start, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit like and hit the bell button so you won't miss any of my future videos, whether it's health, product review or just daily bargains. I post them daily and they're there for you. All right, let's open that box and see what's inside. I had very big expectations for Sony and they let me down a couple of more times. A couple of my friends uh, told me almost the same about Samsung. So that's my first time I'm going to a brand that is not Samsung and is not Sony. I know that Hisense and TCL gaining popularity, especially in Australia, due to the price point and also due uh, to the good functions. Um, it's my first TV of that brand. I have no idea what to expect, but I trust internet feedback. I just want to create video review for those people that would like to see a little bit more of what's inside. So as I open the box, two things um, at the entry. It's two legs of the TV stand. Um, they are nicely packed. I just put them aside. Um, it, the box is clearly marked that there's a front of TV and as you open the TV should basically face that way to the camera. Gently removing top protective plastic here and I already see, oh that's very nice, so um, the big with all the accessories here which uh, from what I can see has um, remote control, power cord, batteries, uh, warranty and by the way warranty is another reason why I bought this TV. Hisense give you three years warranty when uh, Samsung and Sony likes giving you one year warranty and I had two Sony's in a row with manufacturer fault and Sony were not um, coming, you know, forthcoming to, to honor that uh, um, a fault so I'm, I'm not impressed with that but it's not about Sony today about Hisense and um, it looks like everything neatly packed so there's no surprises here we've got stamp we've got uh, instructions and um, so um, Hisense come with three years warranty and if you buy TCL most of them come with five years warranty I think between them it's your consumer choice uh, what do you buy uh, but that particular model uh, just got out and there's nothing of TCL uh, uh, in that range and that price point otherwise I would be buying TCL because most of the TCLs come in with five years warranty all right let's put it aside and if nothing else in the way we we'll try to get TV out of the box oh that's very nice that's the carton with another um, plastics on it so TV won't bounce on the inside the box a lot of thought to put in All right. so that is TV itself and it's really nicely wrapped let's move the I think it's a masking tape and try to get TV out of this it looks like a, almost like a pouch or, or pocket um, all panels on TV are protected as you can see and there's a clear film 
carbon entire screen and carbons uh, protecting sides of TV as well. Very nicely packed. Actually, much better packed than uh, two of my last Sony TVs. So this is 50 inch uh, version of it. And um, I would say it's not heavy. It's pretty light. I'm just careful uh, with lifting it, but it's definitely um, good for one person to pick up. The TV is not skinny compared to some LGs, but um, I think skinny enough uh, to put it anywhere. I'm not sure if it's visible on the camera, so that's the thickness of TV. Uh, what we've got on TV here? This side we've got only power. Uh, on the back side of TV, uh, on this side we've got um, one HDMI network cable, and on the side we've got another three HDMI, so four HDMI all together. We've got two USB ports and antenna port, so it's actually pretty interesting. You've got 100 megabits per second LAN. Uh, internet service, you've got uh, audio video in as banana port, you've got HDMI for 4K, then you've got another three HDMIs. Actually, they're all marked as a 4K, it's pretty good for a small TV to have four HDMIs, and you've got uh, optical port for digital uh, audio out. So I think it's pretty good for standard configuration. Um, that is all and more than what I expected to find in the box. I think the box itself is uh, empty now. Also, there's a big sticker at the front uh, emphasizing the three-year warranty. Let's see what's written on it. Hyson three-year warranty. It's actually in-home warranty, so if anything goes wrong with TV, they come to you. It's actually pretty good to know. Also, energy rating is four and a half stars. It's pretty good for a TV of that size and hopefully even you can get a little bit dim because this TV is going to a bedroom. So when watching at night, hopefully we can uh, dim the monitor so it won't be so bright. I just put TV aside and quickly we look at the box. What TV is supposed to be providing? So TV itself is <coughs> 50 inch TV, um, usual mark against precision color and HDR high dynamic range. And although what's what's really good, it has um, inbuilt Netflix, YouTube, Stan and Prime Video. It was really important to us because we didn't want to buy another Chromecast to cast uh, Prime Video. We're usually watching most of our TVs from either YouTube or from um, um, Amazon Prime. So it's supporting both. That means we can actually put logins inside TV users. So we use YouTube uh, premium service and we use Amazon Prime as part of the uh, Prime delivery service. So I think even if it's not uh, Android TV, you do have um, minimal kind of streaming uh, services that uh, normal TV provide. And I think because it's not Android TV, and I think it's not Android TV, uh, it should be much snappier in startup and, and everything else. So I think that's all for now. Yeah, and what I'll do, I'll <coughs> stop camera now and I'll continue um, in the bedroom when we will connect everything and set in our, and, and, and do set up and see what initial impression of TVs TV are Thank you so much for watching See you next part Hello my friends channel subscribers Greg here again. I just mounted the TV on the wall I'm sorry about it. all the stickers still on um, the cords not tied and all temporary setup I just wanted to power up TV before I continue, make sure it works and maybe show quality of TV and you know what to expect when you power it up for the first time. 
So let's turn on PowerPoint and hope it will come up. <clears throat> oh, it turns on. And that's actually quite a beautiful screen. I know maybe it's hard to see on the camera, but screen quite um, nice and vivid. All right, let's choose English as a language. And we're in Australia. And we are in Queensland. And what we've got now, we've got uh, TV. Let's check TV. Welcome to TV. We begin scanning and we do antenna and then do um, all channels, all channels, and it starts scanning. The screen is actually quite beautiful. I'm not sure if it's uh, easy to see. Um, the first impressions for now, the TV is very light, the TV is bright, screen is beautiful, the quality of finishes are quite good. The setup process is intuitive. Um, I'll probably uh, fast forward my password uh, settings because uh, I had three attempts with uh, wrong password, only because I couldn't quickly go to uh, uh, special characters, but you know, um, it's not the interesting part. Um, as you finish with your Wi-Fi, it goes to um, antenna uh, scan or, or free to air channels. So, so far we found 68 channels and 32 radio channels, 74 channels. Wow, that's pretty good. Don't need them all and they're probably repeating themselves because there's uh, four or five channels within the same segment, like channel 7, channel 9, channel 10. Um, but we'll see when it all finishes. So far we've got 74 TV channels and 42 radio channels, not too bad. Okay, no, and we're done. So we're oh no, look, fire. that's beautiful. Crowded street. Care about hurting anybody else, just wanting to get away from me. We gotta find out how much stuff really is. Only now they're starting to take their channel. That's actually pretty, pretty good. Hire somebody like that. Uh, I'm gonna open any contest. That's looking pretty well. Channel 7, right? Channel 10. Let's see if we can go to YouTube. All right, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, and I'll finish that setup later. So we've got YouTube here. We've got um, Prime Video there. And a click of the button on the remote, you actually go in there. So it's a smart TV, but it's not Android TV. And I actually like the way it is right now. Um, that's pretty good. I like simplicity of everything that I see here. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh, it's interesting. I think it's part of the Amazon. We're going back home. Actually, if I go back home, TV. Inputs, I guess. It's a lot to digest. Uh, I'll probably do a TV review separately, but. Uh, 
it's a lot of applications. The TV is snappy, TV responding well. Um, the setup was a breeze, and it's actually looking good. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed. I've got uh, a little bit more expensive TV in the living room, and I did not get that initial impression when I was setting up of quality finishes and how snappy it is and how happy it is. And to be honest, if someone would not tell me this high sense, I would say it's very expensive TV. The screen is just beautiful. So um, I would do probably a review on productreview.com.au and that TV definitely will get five stars so far. Uh, everything was easy from packaging to unpacking to define what I need and actually mounting it on the wall and setting up literally, as you can see, 20 minutes uh, from the moment I, I open the box uh, until it's actually already on, on the wall. And I didn't have breaking on the wall. It was uh, uh, took me five minutes to find studs and, and drill it in. But TV is so light, you don't need uh, a lot of reinforcements and things like that. So um, my opinion, highly recommended. Thumbs up, uh, good TV. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know uh, down below in the comments if you'd like to know more about TV or create a separate video about uh, uh, TV features and what uh, it contains. But so far on Pekin, I think we've got enough um, information there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit like and hit that uh, notification bell so you don't miss any of my uh, future reviews, uh, health videos and uh, bargains that I post daily. See you next time.